Hello everyone, this is Janet from Mixed Media Mama. Thank you so much for coming back. I am so excited. This was kind of an um, experiment in the works and I knew where I wanted. Basically, what I was doing was the binding process. And I'll talk a little bit about that a little bit more, but uh, she's done. I am so, so excited. Before I start, I wanted to, this is a Tracy Fox Love Junk Journals project design team for February, I'm going to say. It is, she has just been on a roll putting out those kits, hasn't she? Every single kit never, never, never disappoints me. And the kits, the digital kits that I used for this, and I will put the, all of that information below, but the digital kits that I remember are the fabulous Artie, A-R-T-Y, A-R-T-Y digital kits. Wow. They were blowing me away. And of course, the um, Joyful Youths and the awesome assemblage little layered tags. That once I saw this kit of the little layered tags, I had, I had two boxes. I cut it out and I knew exactly what I wanted to make. But so let's jump into it. I wanted to make sure this is a repurposed journal cover using it was just a it's probably a four by six as you can see it's not much bigger than my hand um, it is was in excellent shape but I also uh, so I covered it with Tim Holtz fabric and I have been wanting to use his fabric for some time and I've used it in other projects but wow Wow, 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 it is, and I will put from which collection that is from, but as you can see, it just has wonderful flow, and of course, I covered the spine with a piece of velvet. It is just luscious purple, purple velvet from Sheila at Boho Daydreams. Hello, Sheila. I will definitely put her link. She has some of the best snips and packages of laces, vintage, authentic laces, and in whatever color you want. Stunning pieces of fiber and laces, and oh, it is just to die for. Um, then I, as you can see, I'm going to just really bring this front cover up. As you can see, I layered and layered and layered these Mm, tags there's some tags there if you can look underneath the mixed media goops and paints and sprays and oxides and I just put labels I cut everything out and I just started to layer and layer and layer on you know these labels here and little pieces of tags this is what makes Tracy so unique because she thinks of these details she thinks of different sizes um her digitals her artistically are just to die for anyway. But when you have little bits and bobs and pieces like this, it really makes it so easy for an artist like myself to bring everything together. So what I visioned, and I never vision, my visions never come out to the way they, I think they are, should be in my mind. What I vision, I just wanted to have a collage of these little doodads here, these precious little uh, labels. And just, I just assembled. I just assembled layer upon layer. And then I glued it down. And of course, and then I brought in the little butterfly and pieces of the metals and, you know, just thing, just to give it a little bit of dimensional. But I just knew it was just not done. And so... I went through the whole book, I made my binding, put the tags in, then I just finished this today, probably a half an hour ago. And what I did then, because I wanted to really push it back, looking at the whole scheme of things, I put Tim Holtz gripped, or crypt, excuse me, I think it's crypt paste, and it's that really dark 
paste and I just edged it all the way around. I took my spatula, edged it, let it dry overnight. Then I came back with some oxides and sprays and then I just made it into, I brought in some, the Villainous Potion, um, the spray, not the oxide, just the spray. And then there was a little, you can see the little glimmer in some of this and that is from the mica sprays um i just layered upon layered upon layered and then of course i splattered and brought in some of his newest scorched timber and that really set it back so if you kind of really look at it it looks like all of this goodness is coming out of the book isn't that just the coolest that's what i wanted and so anyway I know you may not have wanted to hear all of that, but sometimes I like to hear how people did do their things to inspire myself. So I wanted to give that to you. I wanted to explain how I did that because it really was not that hard. Layered, put some goops on, let it dry, put some sprays on. Um, that's really what it was. And it just really set the whole the whole cover. So let's go ahead and jump in. This whole book was the signature binding. What I did is that it was all about tags using Tracy's arty tags from her kit um, in various sizes. And in previous videos that I've done, I you all know that I, when I print off kit, I like to print off different sizes of pages of the things, large and smalls, then I can incorporate all of that into my project. But each page is one tag. And, <clears throat> excuse me, they are sewn into as a separate. So you're not going to have 60 or 90. You're going to have little tuck pockets and as you can see it is it that's how I wanted to end because of the binding is just so wonderful and it is a a type of binding that you can stick something all the way through there because all of the signatures are sewn to the back bind the spine the spine that I have um, created. It's very sim similar to, it is not the exact same thing, but it's very similar to Susie at Shabby Souls. Um, she has shown how or explained a bit how she's done it. It's very similar to that, but I did my own version of it. So I'm just going to jump right in. This is just a, a tag and I used a piece of Tim Holtz fabric because I wanted to, it's the same fabric as the binding that cloth is. And, of course, I just collaged, collaged here and put a little bit notes, and that is with embossing powder. Of course, this is a Tim Holtz um, dye. I believe it's Sizzix, Sizzix dye. And then I just used, I believe, the Villainous Potion embossing glaze. And um, it just really worked out well. I'm going to grab my little thing here. And then right off, of course, then the tag. You know, and this arty, arty, arty um, digital kit does not need much because of the colors is just beautiful. I used a stamped on this, and this is the shape of the tag is from Elizabeth Craft Design. And it is one of their uh, journal um, series um, and the stamp. And I will link all of that down to the stamp is just journal your life. I just, I love their stamps. Very high quality, just fun. Oh, and be brilliant and pretty. Yeah, that little squirrel is I'm all about empowering anyway, but love that. Notice that it is a, just a, a different size too, and it just has a nice little flow, very easy to flip. And of course, on the other side is just a nice little tag. I used part of her 
This, again, this shape is from the Elizabeth Craft Design. David Robin, Rodenberg's, excuse me, David, uh, collection just was released yesterday. I am a design team member there. But, and I loved the different unique shapes. You can see this kind of little unique shape of, I, that, I just love that. It is very, very interesting. That is part of his die along with this type of shape for a tag. This is maybe a one and a half by three ish. Of course, then I used all of Tracy's kits. The Arty, this is a part of a circle of the Arty Arty digital kit, and then the rest is just a collage of things and put it all together. And of course, backed it on um, coffee dyed paper. And that is the back of my, I used oxides. If it is not coffee, coffee dyed paper, this one right here is just oxide. And this one right here, I liked how that was because you could kind of see the sun peeking out. And that's why I placed them right there because I thought it was just a, a beautiful way to do things. This one is a tiny little collage. I love that. Look at all of that. Just tiny little tags, maybe five eighths by two inches. Two tags put together, two little labels, and each uh, it's held by a little paper clip. And this is just a nice little collage of tags put together and made into a little tuck spot. If you want, you can go ahead and put a picture behind. You know, that is the wonderful thing about doing things like this you can make it your own and i wanted to really showcase tracy's arty arty because they are so full of color and it is just of course i just put a piece of um paper on the back this one was just a beautiful tag as you if you look beyond the numbers it is tracy's tag and then i inked it up with the oxide and you can kind of see a little bit and then of course on top of that I put um, the new release of the stencil from Art Journal Specials of Elizabeth Craft Design. They just have a brand new stencil out with these gorgeous numbers using Tim Holtz embossing glaze. That is just so pretty. And of course, a nice little tab. Now, I do sew. I am a lover of sewing. I used to sew a lot when I was younger, but now that I am taking a little different turn, I had just incorporate. I sew paper, basically. Paper and, and a few fabrics. This is, I as I was printing off Tracy's Artie Artie, I decided that I was going to also print, try my hand at printing on uh, not vellum um, transparent um, transparent film and um, back in the day before they even had computers they would use a lot of transparencies transparent film and they would write it would be so easy to write with a magic marker but nowadays you can print I loved. I printed off some phenomenal. This is just a piece of one of, you can tell, and there is the film there. I just put it on top of a tag, half of a circle, and made it into a nice little tuck spot. Now this, as you can see, this is one of Tracy's tags, the small tags from the assemblage, awesome assemblage. Put a little bit of jewel paper there and using one of her, oh, isn't she just adorable? One of her joyful portraits in a tea bag. 
and there is the other. Got a little bit of ink, but I, I thought that was just so perfect. And of course I kept the original string, put a little bit of ribbon. This was just a little bit of ribbon off of the tie. Put it through a, can, um, a pop can tab and one of Sheila from Boho Daydreams. Beautiful, beautiful jewels. And that just tucks right into there. That flips because I just stapled it a bit, a little bit. Great. I just love how that is. Okay, the same thing is I made it into a nice little tuck, one of Tracy's. Put a little bit of frame, another transparency, and I use um, Elizabeth Craft Design stamps on there on the transparency and made it into a tuck. That frame is just perfect size. And of course, I used one of Tracy's Artie um, papers, put it onto a tag, put a little assemblage, and of course, the oxide on the back of the bookmark. Here again, I left this kind of plain because I loved, but there again, you can see how this transparency is flipped up. You can see Tracy's tag. But look at what happens when that transparency on that tag. You can just really, it's sort of really looked out nice. Very looked out, very looks very nice. And this little cute girl, that is just beautiful. One of the things is that this little tuck pocket right here is basically a specimen slide. It was from the kit. And so I just had to use it and you turned it into, put it on the upper part of the tag, turned it into a nice little tuck spot. Collaged stamp on two tags. Put a little bit of fiber from the front inner page left over. And here is three A nice little piece of fabric from Tim Holtz. Um, just another stamp on a, it, it just, I had that, it just left over. Sometimes I love to stamp on some plain um, background, like on a lot of, some of the Tracy's, she decorates them and then on some parts of her kit she doesn't she just leaves them plain so you can do something like that so I took brought in some stamps and I just absolutely loved it didn't do it to all just isn't he love that expression Tracy very well very very done well and of course these two right here are two, the ends of two tags just glued together so I can make a nice little tuck. Did um, stamped on the top and it just flows so nicely, so nicely. And a nice little leftover piece. Inked the back up. So you can see so many wonderful things. She makes it so easy for us to inspire, create. Look at that. You just really don't need much. But bringing it in, that just looks like a nice little file folder. And this is just a, one of her cards. One of her cards. It just flows very nice. But I wanted to bring that up. Oops. That up, and you can see the fiber underneath and the paper clips right here. It just is a nice collage. Cory Dahman, she is just excellent. She is the queen of collaging. And then, of course, sewing. Here is another wonderful example, part of Tracy's kit. And I... 
tran I uh, printed it on trans mm, transparent paper, transparent film, excuse me. And then, of course, I glued it down with barely art glue, and then that just tacks it down so I can sew around it. And of course, this this area I glue, but I just love those faces. Those faces are just beautiful. And it just makes an art statement on the page, especially going into the other one. Now, this one is crammed, crammed full of tags and tickets. And it's just, sometimes they are so tiny that I have a hard time getting things out. I used, at this point of the game, I only have maybe two pages left. This point of the game, I have a lot of leftovers. So this is all leftovers. Leftover transparency. One, uh, the tag, I already had the tag sewn in. Leftover transparency. A little snippet, another little snippet. Why not sew it together and make three tuck pockets? So of course, I used Stamped on some of them. This is from Elizabeth Craft Designs. That little bug. Oh, love that. I just used some stamps that I had. And of course, I just glued that little pretty little rubbin onto a blue tag. Used one of her awesome assemblage. Cut this into, this was a little bit wider. I just cut it into a nice tag. This one was, is uh, Tracy's tag, but I put it through an embossing folder, colored inked the raised edges, and I love this cracks down here. It's just the paper, the embossing folder was a 3D. It was Tim Holtz 3D. And those embossing folders are really hefty. And if you don't have quality paper, and this was on some presentation paper, but it was not thick enough. It wasn't a like a watercolor paper, but it still loved that. Love those cracks. It just gives it a vintage look. See, it's just, and I love tiny, but sometimes my big fat fingers get in the way. Oh, he is just adorable. The colors that you use, Tracy, are out of this world. Just, I just split that whole tag and to make it into a tuck pocket, but didn't want to lose the back, the color. And this is just a bookmarker stamped on it with Elizabeth Craft stamps, inked it up. Oh, love this. Your words are really nice, Tracy, really, really nice. And this is one of the last. I had this laying around. I have no idea where I got it from. Used a little snippet and um, strip off of that. And... Really didn't need to do anything with that except back it. Now this, a Tim Holtz, one of his bullseyes because it's a hefty um, piece. And then one of Tracy's, the colored circle behind there. And then this right here is one of Tracy's, but I backed it on some tea um, tea bag paper, put that back there, and it just really look, is a nice little tuck spot. You can really put quite a bit because of that Tim Holtz, his um, pieces, and there are certain words for them, but his pieces are really high quality, so I really like them. They're nice and stiff paper. And of course, just using leftovers, just using leftovers. One of, and I stamped in there, one of Tracy's. 
just stamped right there. Put a little five with a little tiny remnant scrap and emboss the five. I love my odd numbers. But look how it just really kind of flows with the color. I'm gonna take this tag out. And what I did here is that I wanted certain numbers, and so I just put, I took one of Tracy's tags. Um, this The blue is the back cover, the inside of the back cover. Took one of Tracy's tags, put all kinds of different sizes of and fonts of numbers and letters and, you know, signs and things, cut them out, inked them up, put it on as a background. I am loving this type of look. I'm going to do this more often and a variety. I have a couple of ideas that I'm going to ma be making. And then just took a one of Tracy's um, labels out of her Artie kit and then a couple of the assemb awesome assemblage <clears throat> and put that on there. Here is a very simple, simple one of Tracy's tags. Cut it down to make about a two inch by maybe five inch and just stamped. These stamps are from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Love this stamp. Love that her eyes on the blue. Just so, so pretty. And of course, the back is very easy to journal on. This is not just an art journal, but it is also a journaling journal. It is for sale, so if you are interested, please reach out to me. My All my information is below, and you can get a hold of me any one of those ways. The easiest way is just to email me. I'm always looking. Oh, love this. There's a ton of area you can journal on, you can look at, and the color is just so, so pretty. Well done, Tracy. Oh, love it, love it. So thank you. Like and subscribe and let me know what you think of this. If there's any ideas that you would like to see or in any tutorials of what I have done here, let me know. Please comment below and I will put them on my list and try to get through them. Thank you so much. We'll see you again until next time. Bye now.